What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Mr. Joe's Baseball Show. Today, I'm going to be doing a tournament VOD review of Netplay Superstars 8 Winners Finals between Hell's Hero and Krazzy. I'm going to break down the play-by-play, -play, go over the team construction, and give you my general thoughts on the game. If you have not seen this one already, this is, uh, this is a great place to watch it because this is an incredible game. You guys will not be disappointed. So unfortunately, I don't have their lineup construction, but I do have their teams here, Hell's Hero being Bowser and Krazzy being Birdo. So with the Bowser team, having uh, Magikoopa, Bowser, Bro is very solid. He's got Waluigi for first base, Wario for probably shortstop, and uh, Luigi for right field. That's a ma what I'd imagine the uh, construction is there. Yoshi in left, King Boo on first, Bowser second base. If I had to guess, pitching with... Oh, he does have Magikoopa, though. So maybe he's catching with uh, King Boo. We'll have to see what he ends up doing with these characters because he does have three corner basemen. So we're not really sure where he's going to put King, put KB. Maybe he plays Waluigi infield. Who really knows? Uh, looking at Krazy's team going Birdo captain instead of DK captain. Definitely agree with that. He's got PD as his pretty much only heavy unless he's going to be charge swinging with uh, Donkey Kong. So Hell's Hero definitely has the stronger team as far as heavies go. But Krazy does have Boo Pitcher, which people like a lot more. He's got Toadsworth, Mario. Uh, I assume that it's not Blue Noki and Blue Pianta and that it is uh, probably red of both or maybe Green Noki. And then he's got Diddy Kong as well with Boo on his team. Maybe that was to take Diddy away from Hells, potentially, which could be a good play. So we'll uh, we'll have to see. I'm going to lower myself. We're going to have to see how that pans out. But uh, I'm liking the teams here. I like Hell's Heroes team a little more. I'd love to see how he actually does his line of construction. So, uh, yeah. And just before we get into the video, if you guys are enjoying the content, consider uh, subscribing if you've been watching my channel. Uh, you might not be subscribed without even knowing it. Maybe my videos are popping up, but you're just not subbed. So go make sure you are because it really helps me out. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. So unfortunately, no game audio because uh, there is commentary over this game, so it'd be kind of distracting, I think. We're both trying to talk over it, and the uh, the lagginess goes away. It's just because of how it's recording. We're all good. So we see Krazy here as the, uh, the away team up to bat first with Toadsworth leadoff, which I definitely agree with. I imagine he's going Toadsworth, Birdo, Petey. And that is a uh, that's an excellent hit to lead things off. It's a little laggy again because uh, when Cokes clicks off the screen, he's recording it. That's what's happening. He's streaming it. But uh, a yeah, great single from Toadsworth there. I think Mario actually might make that play. So uh, a little little case for Mario over Luigi in this situation. But this should be a good egg down the line. A little foul. Yeah, he he just uh, just missed getting the good egg there. You can see that he has righty Birdo, which I don't know if that's the default or not. But a lot of people like lefty Birdo, and that is a filthy egg. It's gonna roll right to Yoshi, but it will make it second and third with uh nobody out so this is uh this is a tough spot because do you walk pd here to prevent the three on home run i think um i think i pitch really inside to pd and just hope that either he pops it up or it, if it hits him it hits him you know it, it's a it's a walk that i might be making anyway but but the dangerous part see exactly what he did there he, he throws inside he gets the pop up it might still be a run though we do have laser but with the ante definitely not he should have thrown cut off there because if he had thrown cutoff, he'd hit Bowser. There's no chance for Anti, and Bowser has a better laser. So, small misplay. I don't know if it would have made a difference, though. So, now he's charging with DK here. I don't know if I agree with this. I think even with Yoshi in left field, I'm going for uh, the slap hit. But he does get the sack fly, so what do I know, right? Uh, again, doesn't throw the cutoff, but that time I think it was the right move. Because um, I don't think he was getting burned out no matter what. That ball was deep. And then with Mario, you'd like to get on to get the star chance, but even if you don't, uh, well, it's not the end of the world. Giving your opponent five stars is not great. You did get two runs off your stars, so um, did he use stars? Yeah, he used the Birdo one twice. Yeah, so that's actually really good. I don't think Mario's going to come around to score from Boo, but it's possible that if Boo gets on here, Noki can drive in both of them. So this is a pretty big at-bat here. Uh, if you hit a Boo double, I mean... That, that could be brutal. And now it's going to be a line out. Yeah, it is what it is. You're going to lead off with whoever was after Boo. I didn't see. It's probably... Uh... Oh, it's Noki. Yeah, it's Noki. Green Noki. All right, leading off with Yoshi here and a star chance. Uh, this is a big star. And you definitely don't want Bowser getting on. Or Bowser getting up with one on. That is going to be an out. With the chem especially. Noki on first base is interesting. Now you have two anti-chem links to your catcher, but you do get the benefit of having Noki. And that ball is smashed. Foul, but catchable. Wow, what a play from Mario. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. 
I'm surprised he caught that. That was great. So, I mean, that's best case scenario. If you're, uh, if you're crazy, you're in a great spot right now. Then you get Boomerang, bro, to fly out too. Damn. Okay, quick inning. So, uh, right, just like that, Krazy's right back up. And Krazy's an excellent, excellent hitter. So, uh, I, I would not be surprised if we see some more runs this inning, even with the weaker part of his lineup. That's unfortunate. I might go for a star there. You have four. Noki line drive's pretty good. He's got Wario there. He's not, like, playing Birdo or anything like that. I think I'd go for a star. Not with PM. PM, you should be charged swinging. Um, especially with lefty. He is going to pop out, though. And this is another case where he's gotten the star chance with two outs. And I'm not going to say, like, you don't want to get on base because you definitely want to get your star. It's just unlucky because, like, if you get out, you do give your opponent your star, but you lead off with Toadsworth, which is nice. But Toadsworth's probably not going to score, did he? But you do get to pick up the star. So so we'll, uh... I mean, it's not like he should throw away at the at-bat or anything. But uh, it's going to be a little unlucky if Toadsworth's at-bat comes around here and nothing comes out of it. But... That being said, if Toadsworth gets on, you have Birdo Captain coming up. So this could be huge. But he's going to fly out to Luigi. And now we're going to see Birdo Captain lead off with nobody on. Which, I mean, is not the end of the world because Birdo's star is really good. And you're probably still going to get a single, maybe a double. But it's, uh, you know, you, you want runners in scoring position. It's ripped foul. And he jams him. Yeah, KB is a little finicky. It can be easy to get jammed with him. And generally, when you have him uh, ready like that, you want to push the ball. I see a lot of people doing uh, lefty KB for that reason. That uh, was almost a good hit. Not quite, though. I like Magic Slap a lot, though. And uh, at this point, the inning, uh, there's not much that's going to come from it. But a Wario home run to tie the game would be absolutely amazing. I don't like the red ball on the red field. Okay. Good piece of hitting. Maybe maybe a bit of a two-hour rally coming here. Uh, charge ring with Wario, definitely the right play because you want to go for the home run with the chemistry. Dixie calling has a decent singles bat, so he tried to lean into that one. You saw he, he moved in, uh, but now he's down 0-2. Nope, that's Birdo. Yeah. I mean, hey, he, he, he gave it a good run in, uh, in that inning with the two outs, but nothing's going to come from it. So, uh, you know, a bit of a quiet couple half innings. You go for the Birdo star leadoff, and Bowser with a huge play. Wow, okay, yeah, I honestly, I'm surprised Bowser gets that, because he's kind of bad in the infield, but apparently not so bad. Looks like Coax is clicked off once more, and... <laughs> Come on, man. The laggiest freaking home run of all time, because uh, the, the streamer is tabbed off. I'm calling you out, little Coax. Come on, click back on the video. All right, there we go. <laughs> Great hit from Donkey Kong there. And uh, the, the uh, crazy rally is just, it's just begun. Great leadoff hit. A great follow-up is going to make it first and third. Yeah, for second and third because of that fielder swap. Wow. Yeah, okay, that's, a, that's the best hit you could possibly ask for from Mario. Now you have Boo with two on. Boo could score both of these runners right now with a good hit to the, uh... okay, that works. Yeah, no, that's a good move. You advance your runner to third, you score a run. Uh, Boo is a little double play prone, so I definitely get the uh, I definitely get the bunt here. Uh, I probably invest a star. I invest one. If I miss on the star swing, I'm not going to do another, but I will go for one star because it will give me a run. That was the pitch. It'll give me a run, potentially, and it'll set me up with chem for PM. That's, yeah, that, that's two inside. But Bowser, like I said, he sucks at second base, so... That works. Like, any decent second baseman catches that ball, but Bowser's just really bad. So that's why you probably, if you don't have to, don't play Bowser at second base. He does make that play, though. Yeah, uh, that, that's a 5-0 lead for Crazy right now. It's absolutely insane. He's he's hitting everything Hell's Hero is throwing. Ooh, D I just noticed DK third base? Huh? I don't know if I agree with that. Because his reasoning for it is, okay, I have Noki on first. Wait, this is, no, this is bad. Okay, so 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 here's here's the thing. Why are you pitching to Bowser? Walk him. You should walk him. So I'm just going to pause for a second because, uh, cool, Bowser home run. But, but here's why you shouldn't be playing DK on third here. Now, the thought process is, okay, I'm playing DK third. 
because, you know, he's still pretty tall. He can jump for things. And I'm playing Pianta on second or shortstop, rather, because I have Noki on first. So I get chemistry going from shortstop to first, while DK wouldn't have that chemistry. However, if he took Noki and put Noki in left field, where she is a uh, probably equal fielder to Diddy, uh, doesn't have glue hands, does have sliding catch, so debatable. Um, probably an equal fielder to Diddy. Put her in left field. Put Diddy Kong at first base. DK at shortstop because he's a much better shortstop. Still has laser, has chemistry with your catcher. And not anti-chemistry, which is huge. And put PM on third base. Uh, that, that's much better. I don't know. I, th I feel like that's what he should be doing right now. Am I missing something? Let me know if I'm missing something. But I really think the play should be Diddy first, DK shortstop. Pianta third, and Noki left field. I don't know. All right. So, yeah, I mean, Bowser shredded one. You should walk Bowser there. Uh, there's there's not much else to say. I get that you have a five-run lead, but um, <laughs> uh, it should be a catch, actually. Nice catch. It's a nice little clamber there. Very good. Uh, I, I think you walk Bowser because, say you did walk Bowser. Actually, that goes out. <laughs> so, I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, but you might pitch differently. Gonna get to the ending, though. I don't know. I, I think I walk Bowser there. The at-bat probably doesn't go the same way if you don't. Your lead's cut to three, but but still 5-2 lead. Not not too bad. All right. Krazy leading off with Diddy Kong. Not ideal. It's a star chance that he literally can only lose from, but, you know, gain zero stars. Keep the star away from your opponent. That, that's not bad. That's a great hit from Diddy, and now he's in an excellent spot because Diddy's not a great hitter, but if you're getting off with Diddy, now you put... No, 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 no. No way. <laughs> what are we doing? No, no, no. Come on. You, If he's not safe here, this is a huge misplay. Oh, no. He's going to get tagged out. Yeah. No. That's bad. What are you doing? Because you have Birdo coming up, right? We have Birdo captain. And you're trying to advance the runner to third, but a Birdo Egg Ball is going to score Diddy no matter what. You know? Like, you're either getting double played or you're scoring, but Diddy being on third isn't changing that either way. Because if it's hit to the shortstop, Diddy Kong gets thrown out at third or second. If it's hit to the second baseman, he gets thrown out at second or first. So why are you running there? Because you have first and second, now you have Birdo Captain up with nobody out and two on. And I guess we'll just see how the Birdo Egg goes, but like... All right, yeah. I mean, he would have gotten double played anyway. Um, is it a calculated risk? Maybe. You just might not be very good at math. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, that was a great play from DK third base, though. I know I was ragging on him for it. Uh, but that was a great play. I don't agree with that send on Diddy, though. I don't think it was, like, the worst misplay in the world because he ultimately would have gotten double played anyway, and he actually... <laughs> another one right to DK. Uh, he actually probably wouldn't... Uh, he would have had a runner on third with two outs instead, but there's no way to predict that. That's a nice, nice hit from Wario. With Wario, it seems like you want to get jammed. Seems like that's the uh, the better contact zone for him, which is interesting. Now we have Diddy, Dixie Kong up, who's going to ground out to PM. Uh, I think we're leading off with a good part of the lineup, though. Maybe uh, maybe it's Luigi and Yoshi, something like that. Uh, a lot of stars in this game right now. Both players very high on stars. PD with the chance to increase this lead to four runs. He's got he's to wait for his pitch. That first one was pretty good, but but he, he finessed it a bit. That was a great pitch, though. I mean, that was a great hit. Uh, it's going to be a double. Should be in there, yeah. Nice double. Yeah, but that's a, that's a good piece of hitting from uh from Krazy with uh, PD. Krazy's such a great hitter. Both of these players are, actually. It's funny because often hitting is, is, is said to be both of their strong points, uh, but it looks like Krazy's just, just playing very well on both ends. Uh, so, yeah, excellent stuff from the both of them right now. And these are the two of the best players in the world. Um, you know, Krazy and Hell Zero, both top of the leaderboard. I know they're not number one. I think Cactus is number one, but they're they're both top five, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. If you watched my video, such a great hit. Is that... Okay. Now he's got laser. I was like, no laser. He actually might be scoring because Wario, Wario was in his... Uh, he was in his dive animation, so you can't hit the cutoff. But but he did have Bowser. I forgot he put him at second. I'm assuming he has Waluigi on first. Yeah, he does. Another bunt is going to score another run. Um, it's crazy because that's that's twice now we've seen Boo bunt, and that's a great uh, that's a great case of 
both awareness and unlucky from Noki. You want to push with Noki Star, that's why that happened. But bunting with Boo twice now, it's a great case of awareness and um, discipline because a lot of people will say, I'm going to slap with Boo because, you know, Boo has a great slap hit and he could potentially score multiple runs because he can get doubles. But going for the bunt is much safer because Boo's slap hit is double play prone, so you're guaranteeing the run essentially and you're advancing your runner. So I, I think that's uh, that was a great play. And two great hits off the bat here for uh, for Hell's Hero, though. And now we have Bowser. And you gotta walk here, dude. You have to. I know it loads the bases with nobody out. But it's not worth the risk. Like, yes, he did get out of it here. But but if he hits a home run, it's it's 5-3. to three, 5 to 6, rather. And your lead's erased. While Boomerang's much harder to hit with. Maybe he just thinks that Hell's isn't on with bowser and i know i keep saying like why are you pitching to bowser and this time it did work but it's not gonna work every time and that's a great hit uh and as you saw with uh yoshi was in yoshi was definitely in. you could send yoshi for sure i get playing it safe um but but he doesn't he didn't have his laser character i think you could have sent and then gone back he was on that pitch uh, and again, uh, I'm not saying that I'm like, I know I'm critiquing them a lot, but that's what I'm here to do right now. Uh, I'm not saying that I'm, I'm like, wow, aren't they doing this? These players suck. It's just like when you're watching from a third person perspective, you can, you can analyze a lot more because you're not focusing on all the other aspects of the game. I don't have to focus on hitting the ball or pitching good strikes. I can just say this would have been good. That was a great start here from Madge though. So, uh, Hell's Heroes getting the bats going. Look at that freaking laser. That's what I'm saying. That's insane. But yeah, uh, Hell's starting to put an offense together, and this game's within two runs. Waluigi hit here. Ooh, nice play from DK. And honestly, I don't think uh, I don't think PM's making that. So so maybe that's uh, some merit for DK third base. It's crazy that DK might want to be might be like one of the better third basemen in the game, but he's just so good at shortstop that there's no reason to play him there. But you know, maybe Krazy showing uh, showing me there is a reason to play him there. Who knows? Ooh, reaching a bit there. I think on all three pitches. That's that's a little unlucky. Crazy uh, definitely wants to put a couple runs across here to extend his lead, and he gives a star to Hells. Not like he gave it to him, but you know, he does give it to him. Toadsworth, this could be a huge star. If he gets on with Toadsworth, he has four stars, Captain Birdo. I don't know if you burn the star with Birdo, but you might try to set up for Petey, because leading off with Petey isn't the end of the world. He's got to be disciplined here, though, because he found himself in a hole real quick. But yeah, yeah, he gets him swinging. All right, well... Hell's Hero mounting a bit of a comeback here. Let's see what he could do with uh, this part of his lineup. It is the weaker part of his lineup, but he's shown us multiple times now that he knows how to hit with Wario. That is a great freaking hit. That's that's a Yoshi exclusive, you know? No one else is catching that. And when you got Yoshi on your team, who cares? Let's see if he can produce with Dixie here, because if he can... Oh, jeez. This, uh, this is his inning. This is his inning. He's about to wrap his lineup, and he's got his first two guys on. Oh, yeah, it's for the fireball. I was, dude, I was, I was thinking the same thing. He should go for the fireball, but the chemistry there, chemistry making that play. I don't know if DK makes that play. So, uh, that, this PM shortstop and DK third base looking real good. He's burning all his stars. Oh, that was a catch. That was a catch. He gets him at third. He gets him at third, but look, look at this. He's got Birdo. That's a suck. You probably, you probably say you catch that every time. I don't know if he just didn't input. Looks like he didn't. I think maybe he thought he was uh, going to get in front of it or something. He does still get the out, but he gives up a run. That was a double play. Hopefully that doesn't bite him because that, that was definitely, uh, that was big. And now we're pitching to Bowser. I don't know about this. I actually know. I do know about this. This is a walk. This isn't a walk. You got to walk. Maybe he, like, is, and he's just throwing inside pitches only and hoping for the strikes. Maybe that's the thing. Like, hope he gets his back going. He... He's scoring. He scored. No, he, he definitely scored there. Uh, Hells is, uh... He's being a bit conservative on the base paths, and uh, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing if you could put up the runs, but... But I think he could be a little more aggressive with Yoshi. Yoshi's a fast freaking character, but uh, doesn't matter because that's going to be two runs and Hell's Hero takes the lead just like that. Wow. Ooh. What are we doing? Hmm. What are we doing? He gets aggressive on the base pads and then he... 
He gets into a rundown. He had it. He, he was in smooth. Even with a throw. Oh, no. Mm. Let's see. He's rounding first. Even with a throw to second there, he's in. And he has body check. I think that was just a mistake. Uh, so a bit of a bit of a costly one. So that's, that's unfortunate for Hells. But uh, I do think he can afford to be a little more uh, aggressive on the base pads. Because he would have scored. I mean, he scored Yoshi anyway, so it didn't matter ultimately. Ooh, nice play from Bowser. But he would have uh, scored Yoshi uh, guaranteed. While not leaving it up to uh, that boomerang bro hit. But great, great inning from Hell Zero. That, that was a great inning from him. And uh, Krazy answers immediately with a wall jump. Okay. Nice wall jump from Hell Zero. That was a, that was a little bit of a tough one to get. And uh, he, he executed that perfectly. Nice hit from DK. So uh, Hell Zero saying, I'm taking this lead and I'm sticking with it. You're not, you're not getting back in front of me. This is a tight game. Now, if he can get Mario on here, Boo can definitely score DK from second. So let's uh, let's see what happens here. Now he's gonna grind out. All right, not the end of the world. You lead off with Boo, but uh, you definitely would have liked to tie up the game there. And you know what? You almost did, but but Hell Zero's Luigi said no, 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 PD, not today. Okay. Getting some swaps. Okay, so so now that Boo is tired, he has um, he has decided to go with the DK Birdo infield. Good call, definitely good call. Um, and and as now we can see, he was definitely just doing it for that chem link, and it did work out for him multiple times. Even, excuse me, even having DK on third base worked out for him a lot, which was uh was pretty good. Maybe there's some merit to that. I like it. If you end up with DK Birdo and PM, which I don't think you often will, but you never know. You can sometimes. This is winners finals, you know. So if it's happening here, it could happen anywhere. Uh, that was some great pitching to KB, by the way. I didn't, I didn't comment on it, but uh, a really quick inning from Krazy there, and he needed that. Definitely needed those that uh, that bounce back inning to get himself back in the game. And uh, this isn't the strongest part of his lineup, but if he gets on with Boo, he's in a decent spot to uh, to put up some runs with uh, Noki into PM. And he's gonna get on with Boo. It's gonna be a single because Yoshi is uh, a great character. Oh, wow. Wow, yeah. I think this is a late input. So if he tongues here. If he tongues here, he gets he gets uh he gets Boo not out, but he probably sends Boo back to first. But he waits. And that gives Boo enough time to get in there. Just just barely. So uh yeah, okay. That that's Boo on second. Let's see if that matters. Let's see if that comes up. If Noki lines out to shortstop. It was actually bad. Oh, okay. Respect. I like crazy. I like crazy's utilization of bunting to advance runners. Uh, sometimes you can sacrifice an out for a run, and that—that's exactly what he's gonna do. Mm. Yeah. No. No. With uh, you can see here how close Bowser's getting to Luigi. So with Bowser so close and Bowser having such a good laser, and I think is is Bro catching? No, KB's catching, right? Yeah, uh, it was it was kind of close, but I don't think I risk it. Cause who does he have on deck? Who's on deck? Nah, Diddy Kong. Eh, maybe you do risk it. I don't think it was a bad play, but uh, it was close. But I don't know. I might wanna. Okay, so that was the exact play I said Pianta might not get. So, so it turns out Pianta does get that. I, I might not send there. Who knows? Yo, he's been hitting everything with uh, with Dixie. He's been on fire with Dixie this game. And uh, it looks like looks like Hells is, has found his bats. And um, he, he's gotten a bit of a hold on Krazy's uh, batting with his pitching as well. So uh, Hells definitely coming around on this one right now. And he gets out of that inning... Quick. Oh, that was Krazy. Krazy got out of that in quick. So, I say as he gets his backs going, Krazy shuts him down real quick. Excellent pitching in that inning. And uh, this is it. He, he's got three innings to make it happen here. Or three outs to make it happen, rather. Uh, he's down down one run. He's got the good part of his lineup, and he goes for the uh, the banana. That's a great nanner. Um, nice discipline not diving, because you don't put the runner on third. I wonder if he would have had it, though. I think it was the right call to not dive. But I'd love to see... No, no way. 
yeah, good, good call. Um, yeah, that's a that's a great Diddy banana. I don't know if that was sliced or not. It, it definitely might have been. It might have just been hit up the middle anyway. But now you've got Toadsworth into Birdo. So even if Toadsworth like grounds out here or something, you still are in a great spot. But he doesn't. Oh, he's going, and he he's in. Wow, jeez, I didn't even notice. Okay, so he hits it. Yeah, I mean, with these crappy arms, you're definitely good. He made the right play throw in a second, but there's nothing you can do about that. That's just a great Toadsworth hit, and he's fast. Nice, tie game. And Dixie's tired. That's big, because Waluigi now has to take the backup, but you have a much worse first baseman now. Maybe you put... He can't put Luigi, because you need wall jump. No, you put Dixie catcher KB first. Or, or KB third match first. That's the switch. That has to be the switch. Now, this, this isn't bad either. That's not bad. That's not bad. I like, um... I like this because now you get Bowser Chem to home. The reason I liked uh, Dixie Catcher is because she has a stronger arm than Bro. Or, yeah, I, th I think she has one, one strength higher. I think she's 70 to his 60. But this is good, too, because she's a better outfielder. So, uh, I definitely agree. And this could be a great egg. Wow. Okay. Oh, Okay, rolls past him. Makes it first and second. He's going home? No! Oh, he threw to the wrong base! Oh! I think he was in. I know I know, Chem Laser, but I, th I think he was in. Because he was going. Oh, no, he sent back when Wario got the ball. I mean, look, he made the right play because I'm pretty sure Wario guns him down. But I'm pretty sure he's in if he just full sends there. I, I agree. That, that he shouldn't have. <laughs> Especially not in a situation like this. This is huge. PD up, nobody out. Second and third in a tie game. Uh, no, this isn't going to do it. That's not going to do it, no. Don't get thrown at home. Mm. Mm, that's so tough. <sighs> a lot of outs on the base pads for Krazy this game. A lot. And uh, I don't agree with that send at all. Because uh, Bowser broke Chem Laser. Uh, and that wasn't that deep at all. Uh, I, I think I think Krazy's playing super well in every aspect other than, than base running right now. He's being too aggressive on the base pads. And it has cost him I th probably multiple runs. Uh, and that, that could be the difference in a game like this. You know, it's a tie game. He was just in a... He was just second and third, nobody out. And now... Uh, Hells is out of the inning with an opportunity to just win the game here. And he's leading off with Bowser. He's three heavies coming up. You have to walk. You have to walk. No, you, you... Look, guys. I understand. I understand. I keep saying you have to walk. And then he keeps getting Bowser out. But that's all on Hell's... Or I'm, yeah, that's all on Hell's Hero. Because he's just behind there. And you can't... You don't want to rely on your opponent making a mistake. You want to rely on you outplaying your opponent. So, yes, he has Bowser, Bro, KB. But the problem is... Bowser is so much easier to hit home runs with. Like, astronomically. So, if I walk Bowser... You know, if Bowser hits a home run, Bro hits a home run, KB hits a home run... Any of those three outcomes... It's the same. It doesn't make a difference. It ends the game no matter what. So if you walk Bowser, pitch to Bro, if he hits a home run, it's the same thing as Bowser hitting a home run, right? But it's so much easier to pitch to Bro. It's so much easier to pitch to KB. Just don't pitch to Bowser. You will lose games. I promise. You'll lose games for pitching to Bowser. Is he getting that? Oh my god. Wow. Okay, yeah, I mean, it's working out for him. You are, you have to walk KB here. Yeah. I, I, I'm I glad that, that Krazy went for this one because that's the easiest walk of your life. Magikoopa's not scoring KB from first. Basically, you have, to, you have to think of it. Will the next batter score a run? And if the answer is no, you should probably walk the heavy because King Boo will score a run. We're getting free baseball here, by the way. King Boo will score a run. So you can't pitch to him. But Magikoopa with no stars is not scoring KB from first. So, that rely, so now your opponent has to get a hit Excellent catch. Now your opponent has to get hit with Madge, and he has to get hit with the next guy to score a run. 
So you're putting way more pressure on your opponent, so you definitely have to walk the heavy there. That's a bit of piece of advice for walking heavies. Great hit from Boo. Krazy could potentially be in an excellent spot here. You uh, you probably burn your star. He doesn't. Okay. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I get that the star can get double played. That's definitely sound reasoning. But the star could also make it second and third with nobody out, or with one out. For a power hitter that can hit a sack fly. He does still have the opportunity for a home run. You know, we've got Noki Kem. We've got PM up. He, he can do it. And he pops out again. Uh, I think that's... I don't think PM has gotten a hit yet. Which is a bit unfortunate. Krazy back in the driver's seat with a much weaker part of his lineup, though. So, you know, the, the pitching to Bowser and Bro has, has not come back to bite... Uh, Nice play. Has not come back to bite Krazy yet. But who knows? That's a catch. Okay. We we might be seeing twelve innings. Or eleven innings? We're in the tenth? Yeah. Well we're we're looking like we're seeing the eleventh inning right now. Yeah, we are. Okay, here we go. Eleven innings in winners finals. I actually uh I haven't seen the rest of this game. So uh you guys I'm experiencing this for the first time. Most of it actually, because I was uh I was playing in the tournament on loser side while this was happening. Okay. Nice take. That's a nice take. Waluigi pitcher is uh, something you don't see too often from Dinger City, but net play, you see him a lot. It's a great hit. That's huge. That's a huge hit. Because now he wraps his lineup. Wraps his lineup with the star from Birdo because he didn't use it with Noki. So so good, good move there. Oh my... Oh my god. Oh my god. What the hell was that? No, 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 no. What? Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Do, you, do you see this? He's not even close. What? That, you cannot tell me you think Daisy's better than Wario, and look at that play. That's insane! <laughs> what? What the? What? That's a game-saving play. Don't use the egg. Don't use the egg. Wario? Wario? Wario coming up big for Hell's Hero right now. That was insanity. That, that, that alone is an argument for Wario over Daisy. This is, this is huge. That's a huge single. He's wrapped his lineup. Bowser is coming up this inning. And Krazy's been pitching to him. So uh, we're, we're going to see a Bowser at bat in the 11th inning. With two... Oh, is the game over? That's the game. We're, I lied to you. We're not going to see a Bowser at bat. Oh, no. Oh, no. What are we doing? Why are we diving? Okay. I get the reasoning. No, I don't, actually. If there was no runner on, I get it. Because you dive, and it's third base. Yoshi gets the third on a dive here, a missed dive. But then you have heavies coming up anyway, so it doesn't matter. Well, it kind of does, because you get sack fly. I don't dive at all. I get that you don't want to see Bowser. Maybe he gets it with an earlier dive. But he just lost the game because he missed the dive. Which, uh, I think I'd rather test my luck with the heavies. I don't know. I mean, hey, look, look. I, I wasn't in winner's finals of this tournament, so... I get it's a calculated risk, but that's a game-losing risk, so I don't know. Hell's Zero with a crazy comeback. He was losing 5-0. to zero. He was, It was a five-run deficit for him, and he brought it all the way back against Krazy, who's an amazing player. Not to say Hell's Zero isn't amazing. I mean, he's the Netplay Superstar 7 champion defending. But wow, what a freaking game. Krazy and Hell's Hero put on a freaking show there. But, but Hells takes it in the end, 8-7 to seven on a missed dive. Wow. That's tough. That's definitely tough. The, the pitching to Bowser didn't bite him, but the missed dive did, unfortunately. I don't think I'd go for it there, honestly. I know it's, uh, it's like an in-the-moment thing. You say, all right, I got to do it. I got to go for it. But unfortunately, it cost him, and that was the end of the game. But an excellent freaking performance from both of these guys. That was an amazing game. Absolutely amazing. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this style of video, you know, me breaking down a, a very amazing game of baseball like this, giving you my insight, telling you what I would do and why I would do it, stuff like that, 
let me know. I'd love to keep doing them. If you guys are enjoying the content, be sure to comment, subscribe, like the video. If you're not subscribed, you know, you, you should just check because you might not be subbed and you might think you are because only like 30% of people watching the videos are. And I think it'd be awesome if everybody subbed because then the channel will blow up. We'll have a great time. More Mr. Joe content, more Mario baseball content. We're coming up on 2000. Let's get me there by the end of March. 2000 by the end of the March, guys. Click that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to become a member down below if you're enjoying the content. There are a lot of cool perks. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think that's it for me. Streaming tomorrow night, Friday, the uh, 18th of March. I appreciate you guys so, so much. And I'll catch you next time.